Camp your few, camp your few days in the fall camp. Just how's it feel to, to be back in the swing of things? Uh, it's really good to get back. Uh, you know, just learning, um, getting uh, schematically wise the defense down, and it's amazing. How does this feel for you, maybe individually compared to you know your your first couple times going through this? Uh, just you know, being having more experience this year, um, more in the playbook, uh, experience wise. You know, been in the system for a couple years, so it's really good. Kip, how much weight have you put on this off season, and how do you feel playing it this way? I put on about like 225, and uh, I feel like it's a good weight. You know, uh, being able to go fly around, hit people, knock people back, so it'd be fun. What kind of an addition has Coach Alley been so far this fall camp? Oh, he's great. You know, we call him like the mini BV. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's like uh, got uh, tendencies of uh, V, you know, so he's amazing. He uh, really uh, brings out the best of us. Kip, what's it been like in the foam room with Coach Alley and, and Brent after you guys have scrimmaged and, and kind of gotten a few uh, practices? In? That's good. You know, we're just uh, going over, you know, mistakes and uh, going over uh, what we did really well. and. Uh, you know, just got to keep going in and uh, getting better. Does his preparation in there remind you of Brent? Yeah, um, a lot. You know, he, um, you know, he he was up under him for a little while, so you know, he he kind of sounds like him sometimes, and so we're already accustomed to it, so we're able to fire right back at him. <laughs> so you really hope you guys are just making things. Does it feel a little bit easier when, maybe when he's kind of explaining something to you his way? Yeah, uh, definitely. He, um, you know, like I said, you know, he's been with him. Uh, for a while, so I'm <coughs> sorry. <coughs> He'd been one of for a while, so uh, yeah, it just sounds like him, so you know, we're just already accustomed to that. Kip, you kind of bounced around between Mike and Wilson last year. What are you expecting that role to look like this year? Uh, you know, uh, I don't know, you know, we just, uh, you know, rotate, you know, so I, I couldn't tell you. Do you have any preference? Or? Nah, no preference, just go out and ball. Kip, how much does it help you having a guy like Danny, who has so much experience, to come back for this year and play alongside him? Does that help you at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, he brings that leader um, mentality, you know, that um, that push, it, that that edge that pushes, you know, he'll bring out the best of you. And, you know, that's like the best thing about Danny is like you're going to get his best and he's going to motivate you to do your best. What kind of jump you seeing from the other your three guys with you, with Kobe and Jaren? Uh, yeah, Kobe and Jaren, you know, they're also like experienced as me as well. And so, you know, we're all just, you know, every time one of us makes a mistake, we're able to coach each other and help each other, uh, just like technique wise. You speak of that experience, your, your role, you got some expanded as last year went on. Just how helpful was that for you? And where did, how much did it help you grow, you know, especially towards the end of last season? Uh, you know, getting snaps in general, you know, it just helps you grow as a player. Uh, you know, gang speed wise, you know, you can't replicate that in practice. So, you know, uh, I was grateful enough to get put in a position and I have the opportunity to go out and play and get uh, experience, some experience underneath my belt. Going up against this offense in practice, <laughs> what's been the biggest surprise to you so far? Uh, you know, I mean, just Jackson's uh, leadership role and how he's uh, bringing the offense along, and he's doing very well at it, and uh, you can tell he's uh, taking a big step in the leadership role. How does that affect the whole team? Obviously, you're a defensive guy, but how does Jackson's leadership affect even players like you? I mean, you know, it's uh, affected pretty big. You know, you like to see your quarterback, you know, go out and, you know, lead the team, you know. And so I just feel like uh, Jackson, you know, he's a, he's a great leader and uh, I want him to be uh, leading us. How do you feel like you've grown as a leader? Do you, do you see yourself taking on more of a vocal role or are you more of a lead by example guy? Um, you know, uh, I really wasn't as vocal coming in, but now uh, starting to step into the more of trying to be vocal and now, uh, you know, trying to become better and better at that every day. What was your takeaway from, from the, the team scrimmage yesterday? How did you feel about maybe the way it went for you? Uh, it went pretty good. I mean, first day, so I mean, you're going to have mistakes, but it went pretty good. Both, both sides of the ball. Uh, offense did really well. Defense did really well. Everybody flying around to the ball, you know, uh, giving max effort. So, you know, that's always good to see. Lewis Carter is another guy in the room that a lot of people, have a lot of buzz about him. What are you kind of seeing from him and his development? Oh, yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, development for Lewis uh, Carter. He's like my guy. Uh, Anything I know, I try to pour it into him. So, uh, you know, I just want to see Lewis that uh, be great as I know he can be. You were able to put on weight and get, you know, and I know that's always been something you've been wanting to do and keep your speed and everything. But talk about your off season and how that went for you. Uh, you know, just putting my head down and uh, grinding and going to go get it. Uh, you know, um, it wasn't 
as easy coming in, but now it's like, you know, uh, pretty, pretty, it wasn't as hard as I would say now. But to, what was the key to it? I mean, uh, did you get to eat more, to eat right things? What was it? Uh, honestly, I couldn't even tell you. I just was getting up, eating, and then bam, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kip. Thanks, Kip. Thank you, guys. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.